YouTube, DJ here, host of DJ's BrewTube, and today I'm not going to have a beer review or a mixed drink how-to or anything like that, not my usual thing that I do on DJ's BrewTube, but I'm going to do a little bit of a tutorial for you on how to resize any image that you want to make your banner for the new YouTube format that they just kicked off end of 2012, beginning of 2013. Um, it's a pesky little thing that they're requiring. you got to have the proper pixel size on your image, which is 2120 pixels by 1193 pixels. And man, I was racking my brain how to do it, and I finally figured out with a real simple tool on the Mac. Now, this is for you if you're using Mac. I'm not sure how it is for you Windows users out there. But for Mac, it's a real simple tool. It comes with the Mac. There's no downloads necessary. So that's kind of like free, right? Yeah, so you can take any image that you've got. It'll mess with the resolution a little bit. You're going to have to play with it and do your own style on it. But I'm going to give you the basics, step-by-step -step how to do it. I'm going to show you right on the screen here. So I'll be back with you in a second with that video. And we'll see you then. Found the new layout for the YouTube channel page and say, man, I, that's how I want my channel page. I, I, I've got to do it, but I can't make my banner. I've got all my channels set up, and I don't know how to so resize this damn photo to get it to the 2120 pixels by 1193 pixels that they require. How the hell do I do it? I don't want to have to buy Photoshop or some expensive software. Well, I got it for you guys. On your Mac, there's a program on here called Previews. Go down here, you can see Preview. Okay, Preview's been part of Mac as long as I can remember, and I've been using Mac since the dawn of time. So, what do we got here? We're going to go over to a JPEG image. We've taken some images, we put them on here, DJ's BrewTube stuff I've got going down, and we're going to say, man, which image do I want? I think I'm going to pick this one. So, take our image here, move it over, double click on it, and Preview comes up. Okay, that's normal. We know how to do that. And... You say, okay, well, from here, DJ, what are we going to do? Preview just shows me a preview of the picture. Oh, no. Preview does a lot more than that. Go up here to Tools, and in the Tools section, you can see Adjust Size. We just simply click on Adjust Size, and a pop-down list comes. On this pop-down list, you see here it says Pixels and Custom Size and all that. So there's a little lock key here. We hit the lock key. It unlocks. And as you can see, I can enter any width and any height that I choose to enter and resize the photo accordingly. I've already resized this one. You see I've got entered in here 2120 by 1193. That's great. We're all done. Relock it when you're done and then click OK. Bam, you're done. From here you can put annotations on it. You can zoom in and out and all this other stuff of course that you already know how to do probably. You know we want to zoom out, make it easier to see here and we want to put an annotation. We can put annotations of any type that we want on here, you know, words and little images, real simple stuff with preview. It's not a super complex program, but it gets the job done for producing the banner in the proper size that you need. And one thing to remember, too, is when you expand out a, an image of this sort, you're going to get some, you know, some pixel loss and some maybe resolution loss when you do that because you've stretched it out. It's like, you know, stretching a piece of chewing gum or a balloon. When you stretch the balloon, the image stretches out when you inflate that balloon. So, just keep that in mind. It's not perfect. It's not fancy and slick like, um, you know, Photoshop and, you know, two, three hundred dollar software programs, but it's already on the Mac. You don't have to pay a penny for it, and it gets the job done. So, I hope this has helped you guys out, and, um, you know, give it a try. If you have any other questions, if I can answer them, will. I'm not super computer whiz, but I have figured out how to do this, so I guess I'm smart enough for that. Anyways, Thanks a million for watching this tutorial, guys. Don't forget to check out DJ's BrewTube. And until the next time, like I always say, that's a big peace out.